So uh, it's called non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. And uh, it means that I have uh, too much uh, fat in my liver. I first heard about it um, after I'd gone in for a routine visit at my physician and they found uh, elevated liver levels. And they had me talk to um, a doctor there at the clinic and uh, he explained to me what it possibly could be because uh, I didn't have all the diagnostic work done yet. But uh, he mentioned that since I didn't have any kind of viral infection, it was probably um, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. It's uh, pretty scary to think that um, so many people could be out there having this going on and it potentially could kill them. Uh, and they wouldn't even know until it was too late to do anything about it, or too, too late for them to be able to do anything about it. And uh, I guess what I would like to say to people, it's really important that um, you get tested uh, for uh, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. It's very common, and one out of three people walking around us today probably has it. It's easier to make an effect on um, progression or stopping in AFLD by um, adopting, you know, some basic uh, physical health, you know, getting more exercise, drinking more water, all those things you hear about all the time. Um, uh, but it gives you a little bit more push to get them done because you know it's going to have a direct effect on your health and uh, possibly your lifespan. I'm more um, deliberate about my diet, about the food that I eat. Um, I exercise more, so I, instead of just going to the gym occasionally, I try to go several times a week at least, minimum. One of the most important things that I got out of it, and why I think, you know, I'll be able to go on, is because I knew to, that getting tested and working with your physician and all those things are the difference between life and death. Um, and if they don't get tested and they don't get treated, there will be years from now really huge consequences for them, but also for the country, for everyone. Um, it could, uh, in thinking about um, that many people being ill, once they re reach the age of 50 or 60, when it's been progressing silently, they don't even know what's happening, um, is a pretty scary thing.